Welcome to Las Cabañas. So we were told that there's a spot that's really good for sunset. It's called Las Cabañas. So we're gonna go check it out. Uh, we just got here with the tutu. Just got here with the tutu, and then we're gonna walk in and check out the place uh, for the sunset. So from our hotel, the tricycle costs about 150 pesos to come here. And it's about a 10 minute ride. And there's a, should be a resort called Las Cabañas. And uh, supposedly is one of the nicest sunset spot. So we'll see. body I'll be working out outside also okay maybe I can down a beer here maybe I can buy two beers and down it real quick yeah that's a good idea let's get two beers Got my beer. Oh, my goodness, I'm gonna go my donut packet. Don here, drinking from the mart. Beer in front of a convenience store. You gotta get yourself going a little bit before you go wherever you need to go to the bar or to whatever. At least have one drink. Hey, right? Can we? Can we? Can we drink and walk? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. I'm sorry. Welcome to Anito. Nothing better than walking with a beer. Welcome to El Nido. So, to get here, this is called Vanilla Beach. So, look that up, Vanilla Beach. Oh! Yeah. Vanilla Beach, about 150 uh, pesos from the main 
main city out to here. It takes about 10 minutes. It's definitely worth it so far. Looking good. Don't wait until sunset. As you can see, this is actually a very beautiful spot for sunset. With the mountains in the background, and the beach, and my shoes are all soaked. Yes, you gotta take off. Who wears shoes at the beach, right? Waves are strong. Woo! There's like a little dip right there. The waves come in really strong. And there's an incline here, so the water doesn't reach up that quick. But at times, it's, it looks like it's coming in strong. Look at that. Looks like there's some kind of bar here, bar, restaurant. It's lively, have some music. Looks like a cool place to chill. What's the name of this place? Uh, Mary Mac Mac. Mary Mac Mac? Yeah. Mary Mac Mac? Mary Mac Mac. Oh, Mary Mac Mac. One of those. Okay. We'll look it up. We'll be bye back. Bye bye. Bye bye. What's the name of the tree? What? Woo! The tree right there? My name is Mary Mac Mac. Oh, my name is Mary Mac Mac. My name is Mary Mac Mac. Huh? Thank you. Oh this, oh, this place is cool. So they have a lot of bars and restaurants along here. That was Mad Mac Mac. Muakala. Where's the name at? Oh, Muakala. Muatala. Muatala. Okay, guys. This is Muatala. Yeah. All right, all right.
right at that cove. Out there it looks like there's nothing, but we'll see. adventure I wonder if there's gonna be any more bars or that's it all right continue our walk it's really uh, it's rocky the rocks are a little bit slippery the waves are coming in strong high tide so all the people sitting around the beaches, I think they gotta move in a little bit. <laughs> There's more resorts here. This one's kind of quiet though. It's called an orange pearl. Why is this one so quiet? That's so weird. Well, you got resorts that's popping over there. And over here is just nobody. Kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, though. Huh? Oh. These are little cottages. Get massage in the ocean. It's, it's nice scenery. But how come no one's there? It's called an orange pearl. Okay. No one's staying there. That's kind of weird. So they have these little cottages right on the beachfront. When it's hot season, I'm sure these are rented out more. But it looks like those two bars slash clubs resort right at the beach. That's the most happening. So we got some guests here staying at this. Looks like a duplex cottage. Looks like they're neighbors talking to each other. Where is it? This is Las Cabanas? Is that? Oh. Don't go to Las Cabanas. Looks like you can walk across the island over there. Water is coming up. So last cabanas, there wasn't too many people there. Well, this is part of last cabanas actually. There's some people, and it's a and it's nice. I think it's, uh, all this belongs to last cabanas. Actually, we can come here and have a drink or something. The resort's nice. It's not as loud and happening like the other two bars, but it definitely has a different resort feel to this place. And it's right at the end of the cove here, so I can see why it's a good location for the resort. It looks pretty cool. Las Cabanas, it's a good location palm trees at the edge of the cove and the mountains in the background. It's nice.
Las Cabanas. Oh, it's nice out here, actually. It's really nice. Look at that. The walk over to that island over there. Wow. So this is like the corner, the edge. So you get both views, and the views over here is, a, is amazing also. Las Cabanas. So we're at Las Cabanas. I thought it was just a little corner, a little resort, but it actually has one of the best locations. It's right at the edge and corner of the cove, so you get the right side and the left side, and there's no view obstructing the sunset at all versus some of the other bars uh, uh, next to it. But overall, I like the vibe. There's a lot of people out here, and it seems like one of the best view for the sunset in uh, El Nido. The sun is coming down behind those mountains there. And just all around, the camera doesn't really capture the feel of this place. The camera crops out just uh, like the mountains in the background that you see. It's actually a lot closer, but the camera kind of makes it look like a lot a lot farther and it just doesn't feel the same so the camera and the picture and the video sometimes just doesn't capture the moment or the ambiance here but so far it's amazing El Nido definitely one of my favorite beaches something about the beach and the palm trees and the limestone formations that has been made and developed for over a thousand years of the ocean it just gives it a very unique ambiance and feel definitely one of my favorite beaches so las cabanas i do recommend it see you on the next video